The U.S. Census Bureau is the leading source of quality statistics about the nation's people, places, and economy. In an effort to measure the accuracy of the once-a-decade census, the Census Bureau conducts an independent survey after the national count. Other countries like the United Kingdom and Australia also use post-enumeration surveys to verify their final population counts. Our post-enumeration survey is called Census Coverage Measurement, and estimating the population works like this. A number of census blocks are randomly selected. This is what we refer to as a sampling. Just like when your doctor takes a sample of your blood, or when a manufacturer takes a sample for quality control. Then the addresses in the blocks are listed. After the census, these addresses receive a visit from a CCM survey taker who asks specific questions to determine the people at this residence and where they were living on census day. This information is then compared with the information collected during the 2010 census from the same residence. How the information compares gives us an indication of how many people we correctly counted in the census, how many people we may have missed, and how many we may have counted in error. Counting our nation's population is a massive undertaking, and measuring the quality of the results is equally complex. Think of the CCM survey like this. Let's say we want to estimate the number of fish in a pond. First, we catch as many fish as we can at one time. We tag the fish in order to identify them later and place them back into the pond. Once the fish have had time to disperse, we capture another round of as many fish as we can. By counting the number of fish we catch the second time and noting how many are tagged, we are able to estimate the total number of fish in the entire pond. The CCM program works in a similar way. The 2010 census is like our first round of fishing, and the CCM survey is our second round. The tagged fish in this instance are the people we counted in the census, and then found again in the CCM survey. We use these results to estimate the size of the entire population, and we compare the survey estimate with the count from the census. If the census counted more people than the survey estimated, we call that an overcount. If the census counted fewer people than the survey estimate, we call that an undercount. This statistical method is just one way we try to measure the quality of the census, and the results will help us build a better 2020 census, all while providing a greater understanding of our people, places, and our economy. Mm -hmm.